What's up everyone, it's Loki Monster here, and today I'm going to be discussing some serious issues with the Dungeon of the Fallen Sun. Now the first issue I have with this dungeon is if you go to leave this dungeon, well guess what, you can't. Well why would you want to leave this dungeon? Well, because there are some players you don't want to play with. Well, I'll get to that in a little bit. But first I want to talk about the issue with this specific instance with the, what I call the water bug. Now the point is to go around, collect the water from the three different areas, and then deposit it in here. Now you can see that there's water in here. Now if I click on this and the water's been gathered, then it will trigger the boss. So obviously it seems like one of the water's not been gathered. But the fact is, when I go to double check, Oh, the water's been gathered the water's been gathered let's go check the last one and again the water's been gathered so what's going on here well this bug occurs when you collect the water in the wrong order if you collect the water from that middle room first instead of the very first one then this bug will occur now, I've never had this occur by collecting the first one, then the middle, and then the left, but I have been told by other people to collect the first one, then the room on the left, and then the middle room here. So I help these guys get out of combat and check to see if it really was bugged and then I let them know that it was bugged because this is actually the second time I've been around in this exact same bugged instance because if everybody doesn't leave then the room doesn't close and then you just end up in the same bugged instance again. The nice thing about this instance is it's one that you don't actually have to kill all the mobs. And I'm also going to show you this little tip. If you're being chased by the mobs when you're filling the cup, just back yourself all the way into the corner and they'll disengage. And that way you're not fighting those mobs as well as the boss. Now moving on to the next instance, in this case we have a requirement that is to clear all the rooms. So we have one person who jumped in to do just that, but what are these other players doing? Well we've got one attempting to jump on something so he can clear the gate, and another one who just stands there not helping any of his other teammates to take advantage of moving forward and on top of that he decides to um, comment on the fact that these people are actually fighting the mobs and I'm not about to leave people behind okay this guy obviously wants to, to play the game properly and I would prefer myself I feel like I am being forced to go along with this gate hopping stuff now doing this in a private instance isn't going to hurt anybody but doing it in the public instance is ruining other people's gameplay and then on top of that apparently we guys don't know a thing according to miss boy and this guy is atrocious to play with okay you do not want to play with this guy and it isn't that he's hopping the gate that pisses me off it's the fact that this guy will screw you over for the boss every single time and you will see that a bit later in this video. Now the other thing I don't like about this gate hopping is just because you see somebody else being able to do it doesn't mean that you have the skill to do it nor the health or armor to survive being attacked jumping up there. Now so this guy decided to spend this entire instance attempting to jump it out over it not helping any of his teammates in the meantime we've just about had the entire dungeon cleared and even though at this point we only have two mobs left watch he just goes over to attempt to jump it again we've got the gate open now and he's still attempting his jump and very badly at that i just had to shake my head if he had just helped, we would have been through faster. And I have seen people attempting these jumps, especially from the top of this statue, over and over again when it would be just easier to kill the freaking mobs. And people will just stand there, like these guys, and wait to see 
Look, even been told to stop. Well, obviously, I'm not going to leave this poor guy all by himself stuck in combat. Just because somebody else wants to control how other player people are playing. Stuff like this makes other players angry. Angry players turn toxic, start arguing, and it just snowballs from there. At this point, I knew I couldn't trust these two guys, and I just wanted to get to the end of the dungeon with everybody there. So obviously, I'm going to go along to get along at this point because I just want to get to the end. I just played that whole dungeon and I accidentally just got hit. And look what happens. I get left behind. There is nothing I can do about it. I'm not fighting back. I'm trying to get killed. I'm being told to go to to get there as soon as possible. I'm trying to die here. And okay, now I died. That's what, 10 seconds maybe? And then another 10 seconds to respawn? So 20 seconds. People can't wait 20 seconds? Well, the answer is apparently no, they can't. So I ran that entire dungeon just to be screwed over by this Miss Boy player. And he does it time and time again to people. And it isn't just him. Mysterious Woman is complaining about the exact same issue and she's calling for Artix to block the gates. Well, okay, Artix, yeah, you probably should fix the gates, but here's the bigger issue. The entire boss in combat thing. Why does it even exist in the first place? So people don't get to jump to the boss room for free? Well, guess what? If people don't get in combat, they can jump to the boss room. So it doesn't prevent cheating that way. He says he'll bring it to the team on Monday, but nothing's done. Another issue is with the vote timer. And not necessarily for this dungeon. I wanted to bring this up because this has been an issue for a long time. Cheaters know if they initiate a vote timer before they do this kind of stuff, nobody can stop them because the vote timers are in the entire party instead of on the individual. These two issues have existed for a very long time. Now, this is how you are supposed to do this. I am stuck in combat. Akalesen is telling everyone to please wait till we all get there. So I jumped there and I didn't realize that I accidentally left someone behind. Now, this is another big issue. When somebody's out of range, you can't see their health. You also can't see if they're out of range because they've disconnected. You have no idea what is going on with this other player, if they're stuck there or not. Now Shrek, he knows who I am. He said hello to me at the beginning of this and I didn't want to leave him there. And we waited and waited and waited and I'm like, okay, I got to go back and, and see if he's like even connected and if he needs help. So I did jump back to where he was and as you see, he just respawned. So he had just died. He had been in this spot and had just died. Well, if I had been able to see his health bar, I would have realized that he was out of the combat and I wouldn't have wasted my time coming back here and getting tied up and delaying the party even longer. And I did apologize to Akalesis for that. Now, the last issue bug I want to talk about is when you're in the final boss room and everybody has left and the axe is still there. If somebody's stuck in combat like this right now, the axe just killed him and the axe just got me again and he just clipped me and you can't go out the door when this happens, right? So. I've just died. This other guy just respawned yet again. The axe has got him. So what do I do? Do I just leave him to his own devices? Well, I'm going to get the axe off of him so he can get the hell out of here. And then I'm going to go ahead and die. I just want to keep the axe off of him for a few minutes here. But the fact is, if you just 
kill the boss and then you leave that exit you leave members of your party trapped behind i don't think people realize that for some people that gate is bugged and you can't get out that way so you have to be out of combat so you were able to bring up your travel menu to be able to teleport out of there or you have to kill the axe in order to be able to go out the exit so who's to blame here ae for scaling up this dungeon after the fact just to slow players down making it harder and more time consuming so people felt they needed to find an exploit i don't think it's the exploit that's making people super angry i think it's the players who have lost their game manners and are just out for themselves and don't care if they screw over other players by eliminating the boss in combat feature, this will not happen anymore. Simple solution. A little common courtesy like going back and helping a player like I just did goes a long way. And speaking up for other players like Acolescence did, if one person jumps ahead and kills the boss, what happens if everybody else just sits back? Instead of helping that person who has no game manners, I bet you anything they're either going to get the hint that what they're doing isn't cool and you're not okay with it, or they're going to die and that person will be able to jump forward. All you need to do to finish this dungeon is tag that boss just before he dies. You're not going to lose out. You can make or break these bullies so stand up to them thanks for joining me guys and i think i made a friend you're welcome cragor